In this video, we will take our UI and split it into view components while using test-driven development. First, we need to install view and the view plugin for Vit. Now we need to install Vtest, view test utils, and JSDOM. Let's also install Pinia and Pinia testing tools so I can test and use Pinia stores. Inside vid.config.js, reference the vtest types, add the view plugin, and configure the test environment. And also add this line inside package.json. Let's begin with this component here. It will display the habit name and the number of executions. Create a new test file inside tests unit called habitinfo.test.js. Technically, you can create this file anywhere you want, I just like to put them in this folder so they are all in one place and they are easy to find. Import describe, eat, and expect from vtest. Import mount from view test utils. And import habit info from add components habit info. The add sign is just a shortcut to the resources.js folder and the habit info component doesn't exist, but I will create it in just a second. Start with describe habit info.view, and then it displays the habit name. Mount the component using mount, and we will use props to pass the habit name. Later, we will replace this with pinia stores. Now expect wrapper.find name.text to be drink water. Basically, I want to make sure that the text in the container with an ID of name is the same as the prop value. Open a terminal and use sale and pm test. The first error is about the missing component file. Create the components folder inside resources.js. And then create a new file called habitinfo.view. Restart the test command. And now it's telling me that there is no element with an ID of name. We can grab the contents of this component from the habit index template. Just find this div right here, copy, go back to the component, Add a template and paste. Give the h1 an ID of name. Okay, good. But we're not using props for the name. So let's reward the component to have a name prop. And I want name to be a string. Let's use the name prop over here and the test is still green. Now to the executions. Create a new test case to display the executions. Since I have to mount the component for each test case, let's create a before each method up here. Let's move this mount into the before each method. And down in the test, Let's say expect wrapper find executions text to be one out of three times. To solve the error, let's give the small tag an ID of executions. Okay, now we need to rework this to use props. We need the times per day and the executions count and then use them up here. As it is expected, the test fails. So let's pass those props into the mount method. Now 
The next component will be the plus one button. Create a new test file and call it executebutton.test.js. Same imports as before except for the execute button component. Create the describe block and a before each method as well. Mount the component like we did before, and this component takes no props. The first test is just to make sure that the button renders properly. So expect the button text to be plus one. Now create the component file, restart vtest, copy the button definition from the index template, add a template tag and paste it inside. Give the button an ID of execute and we have a passing test. The functionality of the button is to simply increment the number of executions. So let's create a test for this. I'll grab the current executions count from the component and then call new execution. After that, I expect the executions count to have increased by one. Okay, now let's create the executions count property. The initial value is not important, I'll just default to zero. Now let's define the new execution method. Finally, inside the new execution method, I'll just increase the executions count by one. Okay, on to the last component, the progress bar. As always, let's start with the test file. Call it progressbar.test.js. Since we've done this twice, I'll skip past the setup. The first test is to make sure that the percentage label is displayed. This component will receive a prop called percent. Just like before, create the component file and grab its contents from the index blade template. Restart the test. Get rid of all the AlpineJS properties like xData and the xText. And to get rid of these error lines, I'll just define these as component attributes with the same values they had before. Give this div an ID of percent and use the percent property as a text like this. And of course, don't forget the percentage sign. Okay, for the rework, I'll set the percentage as a prop. And we are still green. As a final step for this video, let's use our new components in the Blade template. Open resources, JS, app.js, import create app from view, dist, view.esm bundler. Import habit info, execute button, and progress bar. And then create the view app. Assign an ID of app to the first div of the blade template. Start a v dev server if you don't have one already. And I forgot to add the dot view extension for the progress bar. Let me fix that. Okay, good. Now go back to the template and replace this with the habit info component. 
set the name, times per day, and executions count props. Now replace these with the execute button. And finally, replace this with the progress bar and set the percentage. All right, that's all for today. In the next video, we will create and test our Pina stores and use it in all the view components we just created. I'll see you in the next one.